Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to create this fairly easy to do transition effect. So without further ado, subscribe if you haven't already and let's begin. We won't touch Fusion page today, all will be done in edit page. This transition matches only certain shots, so basically it's good to plan ahead a bit when you're filming. For instance here, I asked my wife to look straight ahead as if something interesting were happening there because I knew I was flying my drone in that area. And I thought that this take can be useful to smoothly transition to the drone footage. So yeah, let's stream the first video. Let's say from this point we will jump to the next video, so trim to the right. Now let me add the second video. I will not trim it to the left for now because later on we will need this space. It's hard to explain now, I will show you why later. So let's create a speed ramp effect now. Open Retime Control, so tap Control R keys combination. I want to include this bird, so somewhere here I will create a speed point. And let's say the speed ramp will begin somewhere here. So I will create another speed point. And let's open Retime Curve view. Drag the first speed point we've created to the left. Switch from linear to smooth, so click this white dot and choose smooth instead linear. Let's zoom in the timeline. You can correct the steepness if you like. And let's make it faster. Even more. Okay, it looks good. Let me close the Retime Curve view. Zoom in and close the Retime Control also. Now open Effects and in Video Transitions select Zoom In. Simply drag it between clips. As you see, we're unable to place it on both clips right now and solution for that is to trim the clip to the right a bit. That is why we did not trim it beforehand, but we will do it now. And as you can see, now we can place it on both clips. We might need to trim it even more so there is no unnecessary suspension before our speed ramp. And if we play it frame by frame, it looks like it. You might need to correct the zoom center parameter of this transition. One way to do it is to enable Fusion Overlay tool and simply drag with the cursor this screen cross to the position you like. I will move it up a bit. So this is our zoom in transition combined with the speed ramp effect. One more thing, we're gonna add zoom blur effect. So in the effects, add adjustment clip, place it above our transition and apply to it zoom blur effect, which can be found on OpenFX list. Finally, let's fade in and out our adjustment clip by dragging these little knobs. But we're not done yet. As you've probably noticed, those two clips have different contrast, brightness and even colors. Let's jump quickly to the color page. So first I will correct contrast a bit of the GoPro clip and maybe decrease the brightness a bit. Beside this, it looks okay for me. We have more work with the drone colors. In fact, we can compare those two clips. Just select both, click three dots and in the split screen section, choose selected clips. Now we see better what differs. The sky, the rocks and overall exposure are different than GoPro clip. So let's select the drone clip and create two more serial nodes. Let's start with the rocks. We will color grade it in second node. As you see, the rock are not yellowish enough when comparing with the first clip. So to correct that, I will use qualifier tool. You just pick the color with it and it's better to switch to highlight view to see what area was actually picked. It's not bad, but let's add more colors to it. So select picker add and click in different area. Now the clips are nicely isolated and all modification we're gonna introduce will affect only the clips. Let me go back to color wheels and increase the temp parameter. I will disable highlight view. So this simple trick made the cliffs look more warm and yellowish. Next is the sky. So select the third node and proceed with the qualifier the same way as before. This time we've picked also a bit of the ocean. We can use mask to get rid of it, but in this case it will not affect much our final result. In the color wheels I will decrease the color boost parameter so it's less blue. You can disable and enable the node by clicking the number of the node. It helps to see the changes you've made. Let me compare two clips again. Yeah, the sky color is still quite different. I will try to correct it with color warper. It's better, but not perfect. Let me increase the overall brightness. So I will select the first node and in the color wheels, increase the offset. I will also increase temp parameter. 
hmm, I still don't like the sky. Let me play some more with Color Warper. And that's it. Thanks for watching till the end. Drop a comment if you liked it or not. Currently, I'm working on different title effects that will be available on my coffee page soon. So stay tuned and see you in the next 